The Internet is a global system of interconnected computer networks. It is a network of networks that consists of millions of private, academic, business and government networks that are linked by a broad array of electronic, wireless and optical networking technologies. As more people around the globe become connected, they see, read and hear more. There are now so many more ways to spread ideas to people worldwide than ever before. So we can say that the internet is a virtual place without borders. It is everybody's place and nobody's place. And we are all in it together. The internet is the place where you can choose one or more identity. Or if you want, you can stay anonymous. You can also send messages with your friends, buy clothes from online shop or share pictures of unicorns and cats. Without a doubt, the internet and new technologies have been a force for good. But the internet has a dark side, because it has also made it easier to share hate. Online hate speech is one of the most serious problems that comes with the internet. Hate speech, as defined by the Council of Europe, covers all forms of expression, which spread, inside, promote or justify racial hatred, xenophobia, antisemitism or other forms of hatred based on intolerance, including intolerance expressed by aggressive nationalism and ethnocentrism, discrimination and hostility against minorities, migrants and people of immigrant origin. The question is how do we respond? What do we do? On one hand we have the freedom of expression. Everybody is free to share their opinions. On the other hand, freedom can only exist when it doesn't limit others' freedom. Freedom of expression goes hand in hand with the demands of a democratic society. It is a necessary condition for the enjoyment of our democratic ideals, providing space for public discussion and debate, without which there is no democratic society. The question is when does the freedom of expression become an expression of hate? Where do we draw the line between speaking our mind and expressing hate? Or is hate speech part of freedom of speech? But whatever we say has consequences. Freedom of expression doesn't give us the right to offend, discriminate, hurt, hate, intolerate or bully. Because freedom comes with responsibilities. So how do we stop hate? How do we regulate the internet? The first issue is that the internet has no borders. The borderless nature of the internet means that closing down an offending website page or service provider doesn't solve the problem, because there are many more waiting behind the walls, or across the border. The other issue is the anonymity of the internet. People who are able to post anonymously are far more likely to say awful things, sometimes with awful effects. Speaking from behind a blank wall dissociates the responsibility from the person. It is far easier to hit the send button without a second thought under those circumstances. So what should be done about the spread of hate through cyberspace? Laws attempting to prohibit hate speech are probably one of the weakest tools we can use against it. It is very hard to create a prohibition or a prescription against the free flow information. We have to deal with hate speech in other, more creative ways. We need some other solutions. We need to make people aware. Public awareness of hate on the internet, whether through reports and studies or media coverage, can go a long way to help sensitize the public. We must never be indifferent to hate and discrimination. Everybody can do something against hate speech and every little action counts. Fighting hate is a shared responsibility. First, we have to remember that actions on the internet are real actions, so use your real name. If you see a hateful comment, video or photo, report it to the administrator. And most of all, think critical. Think before you comment and think before you share. The No Hate Speech Movement is a campaign of the Council of Europe with young people who want to make a difference by combating discrimination and hate speech online. 
It is a European campaign decentralized in more than 40 national campaigns and has hundreds of young activists across Europe and beyond. Join the No Hate Speech movement and take action now.